September 28, 2022, Hurricane Ian, a Category 4 storm, made landfall west of Fort Myers, Florida. Wind and water surge damaged infrastructure throughout the city, while downed trees and widespread debris made it difficult to access people who needed help. The storm knocked out power to more than 4 million residents across Florida. As a response to this massive catastrophe, a meeting was held the first week of October with a few officers from the National SSIO team and a few from Region 3. A national disaster relief team for this purpose was created with our National Service Coordinator, Region 3 Service Coordinator, and a few members from the Region 10 Texas team who helped us with initial planning Officers and volunteers from the Fort Lauderdale and Orlando Sci Centers made multiple trips to Fort Myers, Florida, driving two to three hours each way to assess the needs of the community. Region 3 Service Coordinator from Fort Lauderdale Sci Center contacted the Liberty Church in Lay Acres, Florida, which served as a repository for the needed supplies where the areas were affected. Once the National Disaster Relief Team realized the volume and impact of the storm, they determined that this would be a national service event. Liberty Church's pastor, Dion Walters, and Oral Walters helped us connect with two other contacts, Barbara Thompson from Cornerstone Church and Dr. Shanette Burnson from the Burnson Foundation to help us with the distribution of the National Hurricane Relief Aid. Once the needs were assessed, the national website was updated with the items needed across different links. Emails were sent to all centers requesting devotees to help out with the relief efforts. Addresses of three devotees from the Fort Lauderdale Sci Center were identified as a collection spot for these supplies. December 17th was then identified as the date to give away all the items, as the Cornerstone Church would have a big giveaway. By December 15th, the three sites had almost all the items they needed. Lauderdale Sci Center drove a carload full of toys and supplies. To provide even more, a big Home Depot cargo van was rented out and a crew of people from the Fort Lauderdale Sci Center and devotees from all across South Florida, along with many from out of state, started to help with the loading process. The team then started the journey to Fort Myers by around 10 a.m. with a fully loaded cargo van. Members from the Cornerstone Church were eagerly awaiting the team with loads of volunteers to help them unload. There were numerous other agencies that worked to contribute to the massive effort, including help from the federal government. Based on the number of families in each car, they were given a certain quota of stuff. Toys were also handed out thanks to an initiative led by the SSC children of the Fort Lauderdale Sci Center. Then drove to Liberty Church where Pastor Oral was waiting for us and were able to unload all the other items collected for the Liberty Church. Various items like milk, vegetables, water, toothpaste, and diapers were all loaded along with toys for the various children who came based on their ages. I really appreciate all the effort that you put in it and this is a family effort. This is an organization that gives us the benefit that we needed all this time and we are grateful and to those who are listening we are able to say thank you and we love you for all the things that you have done for us. Some of them just, just don't have no time to rebound and get on sweet but but because of what you do and what we're able to do together as a team that enables us to help these families get through this most difficult, challenging season. And, and uh, I just want to just thank those of you that had any part in this. I mean, thank you for your gifts. Thank you for your love. And thank you for helping Lee County, Southwest Florida, and the great people here in this community, keeping them alive and keeping them motivated, keeping them going and letting them know, even with tragedy and devastation, there's still somewhere in the core, there's some joy and opportunity for celebration.